Okay, this is the tale of Salty Jack. None was more fierce than he who was Jack. Stony faced, his heart was black. On his first quest into uncharted seas, under the command of a man named Macleese, the captain got drunk and shouted at Jack. He shouldn't have given the poor fool some crack. Jack was fearless, he was humble and brave. He'd be always remembered by those people that he saved. Jack's fate was sealed, it was written in stone and the tales of his greatness would always be known. The crew did laugh, but were met with a shock, for the ship was headed for a bloody great rock. The ship did crash, and the mast did sway, and then something happened that would ruin Jack's day. The force of the crash threw Jack off the side, and he was carried off and into the night. Jack was fearless, he was humble and brave, He'd be always remembered by the people that he saved. The ocean swallowed him, swallowed him whole. Only then did he hear life's true call. Many days later, Jack awoke from his slumber. He'd washed up on an island in the middle of November. He was desperate for water and ran to the sea. He gulped down the ocean. It was very salty. The water he drank sent him slowly insane. He imagined a dog in a coat made of rain. Jack was fearless, he was humble and brave. He'd be always remembered by the people that he saved. Jack didn't know to drink it was bad, and now he's balmy, crazy, and a little bit mad. Jack decided to leave that day, so he built a raft and sailed away. But a pirate called Black tormented these waters, murdering, pillaging, and taking away daughters. Just when Jack thought he'd been dealt a poor hand, the sun did rise and he sighted land. Jack was fearless, he was humble and brave. He'd be always remembered by the people that he saved. But a twist in the tale was about to unfold that would make the story the greatest ever told. The land was black ship, the scourge of the seas, but there at the helm was none other than Macleese. Jack swaggered on board, he was blinded by rage. He drew his sword, and Black did engage. Black beat the crap out of our hero Jack, but he stopped, for he needed to refuel on crack. <laughs> Jack was fearless, he was humble and brave. He'd be always remembered by the people that he saved. Is this the end? Will our hero live or die? Of course not, we've got, still got one minute forty-five. As the captain was snorting, a good line of crack. As the captain was snorting, a good line of crack. That murdering bastard stabbed himself in the back. Jack looked up to see the ship with running ground. He walked over starboard and saw a great crowd. Though a chant in his name, he had saved them all. For he had brought about the tyrant's fall. Jack was fearless. He was humble and brave. He'd be always remembered by the people that he'd saved. Black's reign was over and the seas were now free. That's good. That's very good. Now if you thought that this tale was true, listen up closely because the joke's on you. Jack was a drunkard, a fool and a loser. He spent all of his time down his local boozer. The tales of his greatness are deceitful and hideous, and they were all made up by these two idiots. Jack was fearless, he was humble and brave. He'd be always remembered by the people that he saved. We apologize for the sudden end to this song, but the unabridged version is too bloody long. <laughs>